The other big story we are following, George Zimmerman's not guilty verdict. It's a hot topic throughout the country and here in Hampton Roads. Everyone has an opinion about this case one way or another, including local students. And new at 11, 10 of your size, Jason Marks just got back from a town hall discussion at ODU where some people had some eye-opening things to say. Jason? Tom, you're exactly right. Everyone does have an opinion on the Zimmerman verdict, but whatever side you fall on, students say they want to look past the verdict and towards the future. Starts with everyone. It's one question. Where do we go from here? 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 How about two more? What more can I do in the community? What haven't I been doing that I can maybe change? It's a complicated world, but ODU students have an easy solution. It's really a simple answer. We gotta change ourselves first. The Trayvon Martin case hit home for these students, many just a couple years older than he was. The purpose of the event tonight is not to focus solely on the verdict of the case. Did everybody hear that? Loud and clear. Students say they need to focus on preventing any similar tragedies from happening in any community. But it's really just about supporting one another, and that's really how you move forward. It's really about going inside, changing those things, hate, all of that stuff, and just outputting love. A young man died, and I hope his body hit the ground so hard that it cracked our mental concrete until the thoughts broke loose. They took turns. Let's not kill them with kindness, but kill them with what we know. From poems to readings to just well-constructed thoughts. We really can't even blame anybody else but ourselves. How could they make the world a better place? It's just a spark, and I think it's really forcing um, everybody to look at themselves and really talk about those questions that a lot of people have not wanted to talk about. I have a seven-year-old, so this is important to me that we really have to help our um, African-American young yeah. males. But students will tell you it's not about one particular race. It's about saving them all. If we don't stand up and actually take pride in what we're doing, we can't, I mean, what do you expect? It's going to keep happening. And the one thing students say is that they know change is not easy. It's a long process, but they feel the key is communication. And an event like tonight is the first step. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.